Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube video where we are going to show you five Trello automations that you can use on your board. I know that may sound scary, that word automation, but I can assure you I am going to make this so simple. So you can see on this board, we've already set up some automations. We've got an automation that sorts the cards out automatically into due date. We've got one so that if you drag tasks over into a certain list, it adds a label onto them. We've got another where if you click on, it will move things to a completed list automatically and actually remove the actual labels that was on it before. We've got buttons on our cards such as redate daily, redate weekly, that will redate the actual dates on this. And I'm going to show you how to create all of these step by step. And hopefully it's going to give you some ideas for some other automations that I might not have even thought about because you'll actually understand how to use the automation feature. Otherwise, you used to be called Butler inside Trello. So make sure, leave us a comment if you like these automations or if you've got some ideas or you just got some questions. I just want to say, you know, hi, thank you. Please leave us a comment and make sure to subscribe and like to the channel to get more videos like this. If you are really confused about Trello, I would recommend watching our Trello basics video just to understand a bit more about it. And then you can go into videos like this that we've created or into videos such as the dash cards one that we've got. And there's even more of that out there as well. So let's dive in. With Trello, something that is often not utilized by people is the automations that you can actually create within. So this used to be called Butler. So you may refer to see it in videos called Butler, but now we've just renamed it to automation, which is much better because people just understand it straight away. So we're going to use the Trello board. We created it in another video about all the Trello basics. Um, so if you haven't watched that and you want to know the basics of Trello, make sure to go back and watch it. But otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some automation to make this task board that we set up easier to use. So what we can see here, we've got some labels. So I'm just going to actually remove one of these labels, completed. Um, we're just going to mix it up a little bit, just make things look, you know, a little bit different for people. Um, we're going to put, um, ba -ba -ba. yeah, that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on automation here at the top right. And then we're going to press rules. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring this up. So you can see at the top left, it says Butler. So we call the automation robot Butler in Trello. So what we're going to do, you can see I've already got loads of automation. So yours will be blank. We're going to press create rule at the top right. And then we'll come into this area here. So automations always work with triggers. So we need to say, well, what's the trigger for this automation? When do we want Butler the robot to come in and do something for us? So if we press add trigger, what we're going to do, we're going to do an automation so that when we tick off the due date and we've marked it as complete, then it's going to move it over to the completed list for us so that we don't have to drag it over. So how we actually do that is inside it, you can see you've got various triggers. You've got card move, card changes, dates, checklists, card content, and fields. So we're going to go on the card changes. And what we're going to actually do on this, and God, we're not doing that one. Sorry, we're going on the dates one. Um, so when the due date here, can you see it? It says when the due date is marked as complete in a card, you want it to do something. So you can customize this further. If we click on this here, we can say when the due date is marked as complete in a card in the list to do, or doing, then it would do it. But I'm not going to do that on this one. We're just going to do the basics. So we're just going to press the plus arrow next to this. So now we see underneath trigger, it says when the due date is marked as complete in a card. So now we've got to give it actions, and you can give it more than one. So we're going to give it the action to actually move. So under move, move the card to the top of the list, completed. And then we're just going to press the plus. You can do things such as you want it to move it to another board, for instance, or anything like that, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're going to just put the plus on that. And it may be we want to add something extra in there as well. So we could go to add and remove, and we could say that we want it to remove the Laura label. So if the Laura label was on it, it would remove it. It may be then that we want it to also remove, just in case it was on there, the Alex label. And then we might want it to add 
a completed label. So you can see you can add as many actions as you want in there. So where basically, if we look now and read this through, we are saying when the due date is marked as completing a card, move the card to the top of the list completed, remove the yellow Laura label from the card, remove the orange Alex label from the card, and add the green completed label. Now, if we press save, get a bit of confetti, and it's now created. So if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see that it says enabled. So we're just going to press the cross on this white butler box, and we're going to test this out. So this has got a due date on it of 8th of September, and it's got the label Laura, and it's in the to-do list. So if I tick this off, what should happen is it goes to the completed, and it removes Laura, and it's going to put the green completed. You can mark it off by clicking here or opening the card and clicking on there. So we're just going to do it from there. And voila. So did you see it did all that butler the robot did it all in the background? So now it says it's completed, it's removed that Laura label, and it's moved it over to the completed section here. Amazing. This is like just a fantastic thing that we want. Now, what if we want to add well, we've done that. We've added a, the list to the label, but we want, let's do it in a different way. We're going to do something about labeling, but in a different way. So I'm just going to create another list called Laura, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go to automation again. We're going to press rules and we're going to create a new rule. So I'll press create rule at the top. Press add trigger. So now we're going to choose a trigger. So what I want to happen is that when I put something in the Laura list, I want it to add the label Laura so that I don't have to do that myself, you know? All these little time savers, they, they matter. So what we're gonna do is, when a card is added to, so we're gonna keep it as added to, you can do moved into, we're just gonna put added to, because it still counts when it's moved. Um, but we're gonna use this bit here, the second one, sorry. So when a card is added to the list Laura, that's gonna be the trigger. So if I just press plus, we've got it at the top here. When a card is added to list Laura, then what we're actually going to do is we're going to say add. And we're going to say add the Laura label to the card. So if I just press save, and we'll scroll down the bottom. So we can see here it says when a card is added to list Laura, add the yellow Laura label to the card. So let's see if that works. So let's just say we're going to, drag this over to here. So I'm just going to drag it over, let it go, and the magic should happen. So let's have a look. There we go. So as you can see, sometimes there's a tiny few seconds delay. Just give it a minute. The butler robot is a very busy robot. So we'll just give it time to do it. So you can see there, we've got that. So already this board has two automations that we can easily sort out. Um, next up. So let's just say that we want to create, we're going to create a different type of image. I think you get the idea with these little automations with rules. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use buttons, which is something that is not often used. So let's go to automation and we're going to press buttons. Now you can create a card button or a board button. I'm going to show you both. But first off, we're going to create a card button. So what we want to do is we want to press create button. And it's very similar in that we, you know, we'd have this button and something's going to take, this is going to happen. So the trigger is the button, so it's gonna create a button. So I'm gonna create this as Redate Daily as the button name. Because what I want this to do, if I click this button on a card, I want it to set the due date as the next day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add action. And in this action, we are gonna tell it what we want it to do. So what we want it to do is set the due date, and then you can change it up here. So we'll click on now, and we can change it. So I'm gonna say set the due date to, and if I click on this top one here where it says now, I can choose the next working day. And then you can choose a time if you want. So I could say, you know, by 10 a.m. we'll say, and press plus. So if I just press the plus there, now the blue plus, we've got that set that due date to the next working day at 10 a.m. But I'm also gonna go a step further. So these may have checklists on them and I may want to, you know, reset these checklists. So if I go to checklist here, what we can do is we can say this one at the bottom, 
reset all the checklists on the card. So I'm going to tick that and press save. So now we can see I've got a button saying redate daily. Set the due date to the next working day at 10 a.m. and reset all the checklists on the card. So we're going to use, um, let's just put on here a date of today. Where am I? So today, as I'm recording this, it's the 25th. I'm um, just going to put a checklist on it just to test it with. There we go. So let's just say, you know, we, we've gone and done this task. We did it all. And we're going to mark it off as done. Then what it would have done is moved it to complete it. But we don't want it to do that. Because actually, this is a daily task. This is a task that I need to do every single day. I need to connect with 10 people every single day. So obviously, we could mark this off as completed now. And it's going to move it over to completed. But I don't. I want it to stay there. So if I click on it, you can see now under automation here that a button has been created saying redate daily. So if I click that, then what it's going to do, did you see it? Reset the checklist. I've just accidentally clicked that, so I do apologize. Um, it resets the checklist. And then it says the due date is tomorrow at 10. So that's it. I've clicked the button. It's reset it all for me. I don't have to rewrite this task out constantly or anything like that. So another one we could do, for instance, is we go back to automation and buttons. We're going to press create a button. We can set up one for rebate weekly. Um, so let's add an action. So what we can do on this is we can say move the due date. So we're going to say move the due date to the same day next week. So let's just say that you had a task that every Tuesday you send a weekly email out. And um, obviously when you mark this off as complete, you want it to be another task for next week. So we're going to have this one. So we're going to press plus. So move the due date and we're going to have the checklist again of reset all the checklists on the card and then press save. So this button says move the due date to the same day next week and reset all the checklists on the card. So let's just say this weekly email one, we're going to change it to today's date. Um, so it was a task that's done on a Thursday. So if I mark this as read it weekly now, if I click that button, then it should reset the checklist, just tick a few things off. And it also should do this for us. So let's do read it weekly. Ta da Checklist has been reset and it's reset it to the 1st of September, which is a week away. So that's exactly what we wanted. Um, so another one that we can do is we're going to do the board button. So if I press, I'm just going to actually put some dates in this. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a button that is going to reorganize re things in date order. So we can see right now that this goes is not in order. So we've got 1st of September, 27th of August, 3rd of September. So of course we could manually drag them to put them in date order, but what if we could automate that? So if we go to automation, we can do buttons and we're gonna do a board button this time. So with this, let's just put create button and we're gonna give this button name of sort cards and we're gonna press add action. So what we're gonna do now is say sort, so sort the cards in, so we're going to do to do by the due date and then in ascending order like that. And um, we can do stuff like this, but we're just not going to worry about it. So we're going to press the plus, but we also need to do it in the Laura one. We also need to do it in the doing one. And I am not bothered about doing it in the completed one. So as you can see, we put which list that we want this to happen on. We're going to press save. So it says here, sort the cards in the list to do by due date ascending. Sort the cards in the list Laura by due date ascending. And sort the cards in the list doing by due date ascending. So if I click off this now, you'll see at the top, we've got this little button created saying sort cards. So if I click this, this should all be in date order. So let's try it. You can see it at the bottom, but it's running. And you can see it's gone and moved some things around. And it's come up at the bottom saying a tick. It has ran sort of cards. And as you can see now, they are now in date order. So as you can see, it's 
lots of different things that we can do. So we've got the automation of rules, buttons. There is more things you can do, such as you've got the calendar and due date here, but we're not going to go into that. And you can always go into automation tips and it will load up some tips that it might think you want. So this is saying, do you want a card button where it adds the weekly email checklist to the card, checks the item, log into campaign in weekly. So it's checking the activities that I do regular on the board, which obviously makes no sense on this board because it's a test board and it might give you some good ideas as well. So there we have it. We now have five automations on this board. So I do hope that you enjoyed the video and that you've learned something new from it. But go ahead and actually implement the learnings that you've learned. You know, go ahead and learn this and actually practice it yourself. And you'll see how easy this can actually be. And if you do want to learn more from it and you want to learn even more, not just about Trello, but about all the business tech in the world, like, you know, email marketing, if you use Active Campaign, MailerLite, et cetera. We've got lots and lots of videos and courses within our tribe membership called the thrivebusinessacademy.com. So if you do want to join that membership, it's the thrivebusinessacademy.com. And we've got all training on things tech, but also we have a business coach in there as well. So it's a part two-part membership where you get tech training and you get business coaching as well. So if you do want to join there, head over to thrivebusinessacademy.com. But otherwise, please make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying these videos. Comment below to let us know how you found this. Have you used these automations before? Is this something totally new to you? Is there any questions that you're stuck on? Anything that you'd love to see on our future videos? And why not check out future other videos that we've got, such as the dash cards one, if you've not watched it already, where you can get little counters on your Trello board. And obviously, we've got much more things out there, such as Zapier and getting Zapier into your Trello board as well. So do check them out. But remember, subscribe, comment, and like, because that will help us in getting more videos out to you like this. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a great day.